Hey guys, welcome to another Bezile tutorial. This week I'd like to talk to you about the quantize module that we find find inside Bezile. Um, it's this one right here, it's called Quantizer. And to show what it does, first let us make a, a melody or sort of an, a sequence or arpeggiator and then we're gonna use the quantizer to um, make our lives a little bit easier. So first let's um, dial in a tone. We've got just a sine wave right now. Uh, and I'm gonna set the semitones to 12, so it's up one octave. And I'm gonna send the output, this one right here. We have two outputs. We have this one, and this one is um, pre-volume stage. So this one uh, is always very loud. And this other output is uh, after the volume stage, so then we can control, um, con control the volume. So we're going to send that into filter 1 and then we're going to send filter 1 to the multiplex and the multiplex is a, a basically a mixer and we're going to send that to the output. So now we can use the filters. And now let's use some more oscillators. So we're going to use oscillator 2 and also send it to the multiplex input and use a little bit of phase distortion here and we can use a different wave for the phase distortion and we have two waves that we can choose from we have um, all these options and then we have one um, window where we can um, where we can set how to combine these waves so we have cosine tap map 1 and tap map 2 and tap map 1 and 2 are these maps and you can see that when I uh, choose saw here for example and then uh, square and I use tap map 1 this is what the waves looks like and then we can change this Um, to alter it a little bit, but for now I'm gonna just use cosine and then choose a saw and try some other waves. And I like that one. And then for the first oscillator, we're gonna fractalize it a little bit with a saw. And then maybe set it down to zero. I like that sound and then we're gonna choose a high pass filter and also send it to the multiplex and maybe oscillator 2 can go through the filter as well I'm gonna disable the reverb for now and the distortion here Okay, so now we have uh, a basic sound, quite basic, but that's all right. And now let's use a sequencer to um, control the pitch of these two oscillators. So I'm gonna drag a cable from the uh, last output of the sequencer to the pitch over here on oscillator one and another one on oscillator two. And then we're gonna set the amount by 12 because that's one octave. 12 and this one so now we can use these sliders to dial in a melody um, so that's all uh, pretty easy and um, I use this last this last slot here this last output because this um, sequencer is polyphonic and to show you what I mean, if I use another one right here, for example, the third and the third output, and I'll set it to the pitch, then we're gonna get two lines, um, two sequences. You can see the two dots right there, and you can make really interesting uh, variations this way because you can basically use the first half of the um, sequencer to do uh, completely different stuff than the other half. So 
so you could use the first half so this one um, for the cutoff for example and the second one could be the melody but for now um, I just want to use this a uh, whole sequencer for the melody so we're gonna set everything to the last output and then to the um, tuning modulation and then when you, you see when I drag these sliders here um, at the top window you can see that they have a total amount of a hundred and um, they go down a hundred so it's quite difficult to make an exact melody with this because um, since we're using 12 semitones you have to divide a hundred by 12 so what we could do to make this easier is use the quantizer because now um, if we use it like this we're gonna get a lot of detuned notes but if we send this to the quantizer right there then we can send the quantizer output to these two destinations the pitch again and then since we have a value of 12 here 12 semitones we just send a we're gonna set the quantizer to 12 as well and now it's gonna force all the um, all the inputs to one of these 12 uh, positions so it doesn't matter if you're a little bit off it's always gonna be a precise tone and the advantage of this is that it's gonna be very easy to um, to make melodies and the disadvantage I would say is that you lose a little bit of that detuned nice sound that you like um, so to dial that back in, what we can do is set it to 12 first and then hold shift and just drag it a little bit so it it allows the sequencer to be a little bit detuned. And now we can make our melody. And then we're gonna use an LFO on the cutoff right here. And we're gonna disable this mod wheel assignment. And set it a little bit slower to maybe one fourth. So I like that. And then let's just use oscillator 3, send it into the multiplex. And let's see, we could use a little bit of saw here. And of course we want to listen to the quantizer as well. And now we can try and mess a little bit with the uh, envelope. And um, we can see here there's envelope 1 on the volume. And I want this sound to be a little bit sharper, so I think um, what I'm gonna do here, and this is we're gonna get a little bit more complicated, but we're as you can see everything is going to this multiplex and then we have one convenient cable going out to the volume I'm gonna take that cable and send that to the second filter and then I'm gonna use a low pass uh, 12 pp and then send it to the to the output so now we have another uh, another filter just in between just before the output and now what I can do is um, use this LFO2 for example and set it to the cutoff of this filter and I'll set it to 1 16th and then you can see here that the output of this uh, LFO it has three uh, three waveforms that we can choose from and but it's just one output so what you have to do is use this wave knob 
and if I set it all the way to the left it's going to be this small wave on the left if I set it all the way to the right it's going to be this one on the right and on the middle of course it's on the middle and the same is true um, if you use this output right here so I'm going to set it all the way to the left for now see what it sounds like and I like this sound, now I'm gonna use a little bit of reverb and double click here turn the mix down a little bit, the width um, stereo is all the way up a little bit more decay, the tone a little bit bright and, and now the last thing I want to do is um, set the pressure here which is a MIDI comment, MIDI message I'll set that one to the cutoff as well and I'll give it full amount and then when I press a key and I have aftertouch, because pressure is aftertouch, I can hold the key and press it harder to open up the filter more. Like that. So now I'm just pressing the key. And now I'm pressing it down harder. Um, so those are the last nice uh, finishing touches. And of course we could change the melody and we could use um, different sequencers because we have all these sequencers in one basically but um, this should get you going and um, thanks for watching, I'll see you next week